Yeah, let's do this. Me first, me first. The glory of this day will be mine. Ha ha ha. The ascent begins. It is a slow ascent. Hopefully we shall take the castle by midnight. Right, okay, I was just sleeping in the camp and suddenly this monolith appeared. Oh my goodness. Look, so you've got a ladder going up to the top. This is awesome. An actual trebuchet. This is really cool. What the hell? I guarantee it's all like, you know, mechanically you, accurate Henry? and everything as well. Oh, okay. Here we go. I like how we're going to test fire it at Townberg. <laughs> Hopefully we don't miss and get it through Sir Divish's quarters. Now, let's see how strong those walls are. Let it rip! Whoa, they're like, oh god. <laughs> the chicken. Did he just crush the chicken? <laughs> uh, that was just the first shot. The trebuchet has to be calibrated. That's perfectly normal. I'll have the range in no time. <laughs> Good fight, guys. Did oh, don't fall off your horse. Move! Move! Damn it! I have to get to Sir Divish! Sir! They're coming! There's no time! Someone bring water! Breathe, man. You'll be alright. Who's coming? Sir. There's an army on the way. And they're carrying the colors of Havel Medic, of Valdek. And they're very close. Havel Medic? He's surely not coming to help us. Not that bastard. I have a score to sell with him. No, he does indeed. Is he going? Is the battle going to start now? I don't know what's going on. I have no idea. Haha! <laughs> Time to get serious. Gentlemen, Toth's reinforcements are about to descend on us. That swine. How many men? We don't know exactly, but there are many. And they will probably be here by dawn. So soon? How is it that we knew nothing about this before? The whole land is in chaos. It's a wonder we can find out anything at all. If they attack from the rear... We'd be finished. Just as Toth has been planning. The sneaky weasel. He's been one step ahead of us the whole time. Of course he Not has. Not this time, though. What are you thinking? Robard, how do you think the weather will be tomorrow? Uh, well... Sir, uh, if my joints don't deceive me, and they rarely do, it'll rain. It'll rain buckets. Here. We'll make a stand here, I and Radzig's men. You will wait until they charge us, and then strike them from the rear. Here, and here. If we succeed, we'll have it over and done with before they notice anything in Townburg. It might just work. But we'll have to leave someone in the encampments in case they do come out of Talberg. A few men will be all I need. Well, that depends on whether you can hold out. We don't even know how many there are. We will hold out. I'll give the orders to my men. We will be ready. Of course, Captain Bernard will hold out, man. Who do you think he is? The combat master of warfare. Cold steel, hot blood. My part in the battle, sir. I wanted to go with the Scalets, man. I need more than that from you. More, sir? If we can't hold out at the quarry, we're finished. You, I, Hanish, and Radzik. And since Hanish is commanding the flank attack, Radzik is captive and I'm wounded, Captain Robard will be leading on the field. Of course. Who better? There's no question Robard's a good commander. But many of the men will be from Scalots. We need someone there who knows them and has their respect. Sir? 
I mean you, Henry. Lead the battle. But that is... I want to be in the vanguard. I'm no hero. Nah, I'm a hero, man. I want to be in the vanguard. Now hear me well, Henry. There are whole cemeteries full of heroes who rushed into danger. And if the first human you meet runs you through, it won't be good for morale. Not to mention that Radzik would have my guts for garters. In the battle, you and a group of Scarlet's men will be concealed in the woods over the road. But sir, I think I should... Quiet! Don't underestimate the task I'm setting you. You'll have to keep nervous men on a short reign and not attack too soon. And then conduct the attack on the rear so fiercely and quickly that the foe has no chance to react. If the line should start to break, we need someone with their head firmly on their shoulders to keep control of the men. Hmm. Very well, sir. That's what I like to hear. When you're ready, go and join the Scalots men. They'll be mustering in the woods above the road to retain. Okay. Awesome. We get to do the counterattack in the rear. Wow. I'm starving myself to death here. All of these conversations. Sitting on your arses, playing dice and swilling ale. You were sadly mistaken. Havel Medic is bearing down on us in this band of goat fuckers. And if there's one thing we pride ourselves on in Talmberg, is that we defend the honor of our goats. All right, now to business. Get ready in the ravine before the bridge to Robna. We'll drain their blood. Hello, Henry. I like how they were just like interrupting their commanding officer like, Hello, Henry. I didn't see you there. Hopefully this bloody thing works then, because we're about a good hundred meters short of the bloody castle right now. Right, so my quest objective is to go up here, just north of the quarry. We know that these guys are coming from this direction. They're going to come past Rovna and walk up to Townberg, past the quarry. So Captain Bernard are going to hold them here at the quarry, and we're going to rush in behind them and attack. But obviously, I guess we've got to wait for them to come past before we can attack. Hmm. I don't know about the timing, but I'm going to go up here now and meet the guys in the woods. Currently, I am hungry. Though, I am planning to eat a lot of potions during the battle. So it's probably a good thing, because each potion you have, like, give, restores five hunger. And I don't want to get full during the battle, because then, I mean, I can't really have any more potions then. So... It's probably a good thing that I'm a bit hungry, to be honest. So which way should I go? Probably through the forest, actually. That'd be fun. Let's do that. Yeah! I'm pumped for this, man. This is going to be the epic siege of Townberg. I'm really excited for this battle. The thing I love about the battles in this game is that they're all so well done. I just wish there were more of them, man. Like, they're so cool. Like, it's fun as well. Like, now and again, you have, like, these random... Oh, look, it's a hunter's hut up here. Let's just have a quick look at this. Now and again, you have, like, these random skirmishes in the woods with, like, just guards come across some human bandits, and the human bandits kill the traders, and then the guards kill them, and it's all these crazy things happen. So this is, like, a little hunter's outpost. I don't know if you guys remember, but earlier on in the Let's Play... Can I not search this? Oh, okay, now I can. I had to stand in the exact right place. It's just some illegally hunted food, I guess. But earlier in the Let's Play, I found a hunter's hut without a ladder. And um, it had a chest in it and a traffic cone. It was like a little Easter egg. But you couldn't actually access the chest, so I was extremely interested as to what was inside. Still haven't figured out a way to get up there yet, but I'm hoping I will at some point. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. I'm starting to get hungry. <laughs> Alright, let's ride over to this camp. Yeah, I just think more battles would be so much better. But I appreciate it takes a long time to, like, you know, script all the battles and make the scenes and the kind of battles that went on in history. So in that sense, it's a historically accurate game. Maybe there'll be some mods coming out that you know, let you repeat battles or have yeah. other battles with lots of soldiers whenever you feel like it. It's just so awesome. Oh, I'm riding the wrong way. Great. It's just so awesome. It seems almost like a pity that there's not more of them in the game. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because it's just like, I want more of that something good. 
I want to say I'm being attacked. I can hear someone talking. Oh, hello. A random bandit has just appeared out of the forest and wants to kill me with this giant machete. Are you kidding? Really? What, what do you think you're going to do to me with that pal? I'm literally I'll about to fight a war to save Townberg and this guy's like, no. Oh, he <laughs> just got wrecked. I just counterattacked him. He got destroyed. Holy crap. Poor guy. I'm going to have this wine before the battle and the beer. They're always carrying around alcohol in them as well. Okay, right. Let's carry on to the encampment. Um, it's just down this hill, I believe. Yeah, literally just down this hill. So we've got to hide in the woodland and launch a sneak attack. I'm literally managing this attack then. Like, none of the other commanding officers are with me this time. It's just me. I'll leave my horse here. I don't know where the men are. I'm meeting them here. Oh, okay. Right. I'm ready. Game saved. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. I'm pumped for this. Just a little longer. What is that noise? Hold. Hold. Oh, I can't actually move. There's a lot of guys here. Can I have Bowman's Brew? Easy. Easy. There's so many. My God. Easy, mate. We don't have many guys. Shut up, man. We're so close. If they turn around, they'll just see us. Okay, they're running to the quarry now. Damn it. They were expecting us. Look at their armor. First troops to the bridge. Break through. Vanguard. To the left. And the rest. Come with me. We'll fight the bastards. Oh, are they going to run into us? Oh, they are. Jesus. Go. Kill them all. Get wrecked, son. Okay, let's back off. Let's back off. I'm going to get my bow out. I'm going to snipe some guys from behind the men here. Watch out there. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, get an arrow to the back. Get wrecked, son. This is great. We're just... They literally ran into us and had no idea. <laughs> oh, my God. They had no idea we were coming. Oh, headshot just over that guy's head shoulder. Oh, shoulder shot. This archery is so useful. And now those guys have caught up as well. We must be winning the war on the bridge too. Oh, sorry, bro. Oh, no, it went through him. That was weird. This one guy left. Get wrecked, son. Oh, no, no, he's still alive. Completely surrounded, though. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> we killed him, though. Defend the fort. Objective completed. Awesome. Oh, what's going on? I, uh, this <laughs> this random cutscene though helps uh, Hunish. There's like one guy there. <laughs> what? Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's run over there. What the hell is going on? <laughs> oh look, there are loads of them. They must have like actually moved off the bridge. Sir Hunish lost the ground and the cutscene disappeared. Why don't I have my bow out? Let me get out again. This bandit with the pole arm is going down arrow to the back. There's so many of us, man. They don't stand a chance in hell. Look at this guy. Get wrecked, son. This guy over here. Get wrecked. Oh my god, he just parried the arrow in his pole arm. Can you guys see that? It's sticking out of his... Oh! <laughs> He's... It was sticking out of his uh, uh, stick thing. Pole arm. Yeah. Whatever you call it. This guy. Arrow to the back. Oh, get wrecked. <laughs> oh, man, I love being an archer in the middle of the combat. Oh, mate. Destroyed. 
Yeah, nice counterattack, bro. Leader. Oh, what? this guy. This boy. You should show a little more respect, Divish. You'll need it when you kneel before Istvan. Oh, <laughs> now the pup shows his teeth. <laughs> Istvan, you say? Not Sir Istvan? Or Lord Toth? Just how intimate are the two of you? I know him. He's Eric. Toth's captain and right-hand man. Finally, some good news. Shackle him and guard him closely. Those bastards want to destroy our trebuchet. Oh, crap. Pebbles, where are you, bro? I need your help. We're not going to be able to jog over there, surely. Man, that... This old guy... Runs all the way over here. It still sprints off back. Doesn't even wait for us. Okay, are we actually going with the men? Oh, there's so many dead bodies to loot, though. Go and quickly help defend the trebuchet. I guess we should show up with them. Nah, nah, nah. I'm going to take my horse. Fuck this. Come on, pebbles. Let's go. I'm not waiting for you guys. You guys can walk us. Oh, what? What the hell? What, pebbles? What are you doing, fam? Let me ride you. No! It won't let me ride my horse. Oh no, we're gonna have to run there. The game literally says no, you're not allowed to ride pebbles. Are you joking? Let me catch up with these guys then. That's really annoying. I thought I could just ride my horse up there and show up earlier than everyone else and then, you know, solo kill the whole army on my own with my crazy archery skills that you guys just witnessed. Incredible, I know. Like the best archer in this game ever. At least we're caught up now, anyway. I want one of these big pole axes. They seem pretty fun in combat. You can just poke people from a mile away and they can't do anything to you. Come on, they're gonna destroy our trebuchet, guys. We really need to get a move on. Okay, we're out the quarry. This workman seems to still be working. He does know that there's a war going on. He's like... Don't worry, I'm going to finish off quarrying this stone, guys. <laughs> the camp's literally empty. Everyone's run off. Who are these guys here? Are these bandits? They are, aren't they? Get wrecked. Come on, then. Oh, you're wrecked. No, you missed me because I'm too quick for you. Oh, what are you doing, bro? Get wrecked. Headshot. Three headshots in a row. Sir Hanish, let me finish him, please. Please, Sir Hanish. Oh, damn it, man. You're in my way. I think that's it, isn't it? We've killed everyone. Let's carry on. That mediocre force of four bandits. Like, are you kidding me? Did they actually think they were going to be able to kill me? What absolute fools. Uh, weapons. I've got loads of long distance arrows. We should be okay for the battle. Okay. Just wanted to check. I don't want to run out of arrows. I like to... I'm going to do like a... A series where we play as Legolas the Archer. And I improve my archery skills. I'm kind of glad that I've played through the whole game without um, using the reticle on my bow. It definitely has pained me to try to do that. Okay, so we need to get to the trebuchet. Have we even fired it a second time? I really want to see it firing. Oh god, there are guys up here. Better take them out quick, man. Are these the bandits? Oh, I missed. Damn it. Don't worry, bros. Oh, yes. Slaughter them all. Get wrecked, son. Oh, mace to the face, though. Some more bandits over there. Oh, it just went past his face. Get out of my way, Captain Rabard. Kill them all! Kill them all! Come on, boys! Get wrecked, son. Ha! Yeah, alright, try and hit me with that mace. I don't think so, son. Oh, yeah, that's it. The counter attack. Ah! Ha! Hungar! Behind you, pal! Behind you! 
get wrecked. You got 1,700 Groshen? Yeah, buddy. I've already got like over 60,000 Groshen, so I don't really care, but hey. Oh, what? What? That fucking ninja spin? Who's this guy? Is he playing Tekken or what? What was that? Don't know how real, like, medieval accurate that was, but look at this guy getting wrecked in the background. The cutscenes in this game are so epic. I love it. Well, uh, the damage isn't too serious. So we can shoot. Not just yet. Sir, what are we waiting for? You've heard his threats, Robard. Do you want him to kill Radzik and my wife? We have to consider all our options. And it would be a shame to destroy the castle, too. But how do we get that rat out of there? Or Sir, killed. I might have a solution. What about exchanging hostages? Oh, yeah. He was the captain at Vranjik, and he brought Istvan's reinforcements here. He seems to be on very um, intimate terms with Toth. He might be able to tell us something. He's gay. <laughs> he might even be as valuable to his lord as Lady Stephanie and my father are to us. <laughs> You're your father's son, by God. You're a godson, lad. You're right. We'll interrogate this whore, son. And then decide what to do next. Come to my tent when you've rested. Okay. I mean, to be honest, Toth would be an absolute fool to accept that negotiation. Game save. Join the briefing in the tent. Okay, let's go over to the tent. I thought we'd just like, you know, fire the trebuchet. I'm amazed they didn't cut the ropes, you know, because if they cut the ropes, then surely we'd be kind of screwed. I mean, that's the whole mechanism of the trebuchet. I mean, did they even do anything to it? I don't think so. I think we killed them pretty rapidly, to be honest. Look at these giant boulders, man. Before we go to the briefing, I just want to say, like, if Toph actually does trade, um... Oh, it's actually starting to rain. He was right. It is going to rain. That old codger is such a boss, isn't he? With his crazy dance moves and combat and stuff. I love it. I mean, Toth would be an absolute fool to trade one of his captives for this other guy. Because as soon as we get our captives out of there, we can just attack. And he can't do anything to prevent it. Start talking. Or make your peace with God. Do your worst. I won't betray my lord. Ah, Henry. Just the man I want. This fool would rather hang than sing. You know more about him than we do, so maybe you can get something out of him. Okay. Guess we got to interrogate him. Well now, Eric. It is Eric, isn't it? Looks like the boot's on the other foot this time, doesn't it? Fuck you. <laughs> you need to change your tone. If you start being nice, you might just come out of this alive. So now I'll ask you a few questions, and you'd better think carefully about how you answer them. Who's Toth? Okay, there's loads of options here. How did you meet him? Yeah, who's Toth? Who is this Toth? He's an orphan, same as me. The Turks killed his parents, so he started killing Turks. Sigismund needed men like that, so Ishtavan ended up in his service. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to get this one. How did you meet him? Because I only have five authority. No one really cares about me. How did you meet him? What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> yeah, he's got a point though. What are you? What are you people after? What is he after? Are you really that clueless? To destroy Wenceslas' allies. You. Who does he work for? Who does he take his orders from? Are you stupid? He works for Sigismund. Yeah, okay. How many men has he got in the castle? We've got 20 aggression. He's only got 14. How many men does he have in the castle? Enough to thrash you. What? No, he's not. I won't waste any more time on you. Yeah, I will exchange you for the hostages. Listen to me. Toth has hostages in the castle, and we have you. So, how about an exchange? Do you take him for a fool? 
Do you really think he'd give up the only thing he has that stops you from attacking? He'll never accept an exchange. You better pray he will for your own sake, because once we attack, you'll be worthless to us. And what do you suppose will happen to a worthless bandit? <laughs> I won't it. I won't waste any more time on you. I won't waste any more time on you. You could have saved yourself, but apparently you value your master's skin more than your own. I don't need to save myself. Ishtavan will save me. And he'll kill every last one of you. Shut up. Why should he save you? He'll sacrifice you just like everyone in Vranik and Pribislavitz. You're nothing but a common bandit. You don't know anything. He'll come for me. And anyone who lays a finger on me will pay dearly. Now I'm curious. Why would he care that much about you? Could it be your lovers? You'd never understand. <laughs> For a while there, I thought we'd get nothing out of him. But in the end, he spilled his guts. I thought you were much too easy on him. But it seems your approach was the right one. Well done, lad. Anyway, it's clear that young fellow is no ordinary brigand. And he believes Toth cares about him. We'll just have to see if the bastard cares as much about him as Divish does about his wife and you about your father. Oh, another 1,127 groschen. Okay, cool. Just for interrogating him. Well, Divish, I think the time has come to find out just how much Toth values our hostage. Do you want to parley with him yourself? I think I'll leave that to you, Hamish. So be it. I'll do my utmost. Bring the hostage below the battlements. <laughs> Last time he went below the battlements, you got uh, Divish got shot, so I guess he doesn't want to do that again. Sir Istvan! What is it? Did our neighbourly visit catch you unprepared? Very little. But we've settled in nicely. And this fellow is enjoying our company so much, we simply can't get rid of him. Oh, yes, Felix. It seems we are in similar situations. Perhaps it's time to send our respective guests home. Not a chance. Do you take me for a fucking fool? <laughs> yep. Be warned. If anything happens to Eric, I'll let every man jack here have his way with this bitch, and I'll dice Kobila into goulash meat. Nobly spoken, your grace. But for all I know, you may have done that already. Divish, I'm sorry. I slept with Henry. <laughs> Greetings, friends. Fear not, Lord Toth is treating us like royalty. <laughs> <laughs> They're unharmed, as you can see. But don't try any tricks or they won't be for long, Hanush. <laughs> Such a joker. It seems your lord doesn't place any great value in you, boy. Go to hell. Oh. <coughs> I'm sorry. It looks like it's not going to be that easy. Well, at least we know they're alive. I didn't expect much of it anyway. He won't harm them as long as we have this fellow. So I guess at least if we attack now, he won't kill them. Because he wants this guy alive. Eric. Well, friends, what do you suggest? I'd say we have no choice but to attack. Hmm. It's a great risk, Robard, with Stephanie and Radzig inside. I know how you feel, sir, but Toth is no fool. They are his last safeguard. He will do nothing to harm them until he is sure of victory. Would you be saying that if it were your wife inside? Or your father? Well, let me point out that we have no choice anyway. We don't have enough supplies to keep men here for weeks, while gangs of brigands and Sigismund's army roam the countryside. Hmm. Toth won't agree to an exchange, and even if he did, we'd have to let him go. With all his men, He'd be a thorn in our sides till Judgment Day. Well said. Sir, a message has arrived. Not, a, not oh, again. <laughs> Margrave Jobst is approaching with his retinue and wants to speak with you. Jobst, you say? All right. Mm. What is he doing here? Who's Jobst? 
The Obst of Luxembourg is cousin to King Wenceslaus and Sigismund. He's the Margrave of Moravia. Only a year ago, he was collaborating with Sigismund and the League of Lords. He betrayed King Wenceslas and his ally Prokop. Now, he's changed sides, appointed himself the leader of the rebellion against Sigismund, and wants to liberate Wenceslas. Whichever way the wind blows. Nevertheless, it seems the decision is made for us. We don't want Jobst camping with us in front of our own castle like a band of gypsies. Hmm. I'm afraid you're right, Hanush. All right. We'll let the men rest a while and then attack. Come to me when everything is ready. Awesome. Let's do it. Oh, game save. Family values. Quest complete. Okay. Talk to Sir Divish about starting the siege. This guy is still sitting there. Jesus, man, are you okay? Your leg is literally, like, falling off there. An oaf is an oaf. Quest Jesus. started. Talk to Sir Diffish. Oh, I'm glad... I'm at your service. At your service, sir. I'm about to give the order to bombard Talmberg. And since it's mainly thanks to you that we still have a trebuchet, I think you should have the honor of the first shot. Yes, I'd be delighted. I'd be delighted. To smash my castle? I can't say I share your enthusiasm. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I didn't mean it like that. There's nothing to it. The men will load the trebuchet. All you have to do is pull the lever. Well, I suppose I could manage that. Then we'll bombard Talmberg for several days. Sir Robard will explain what comes next. Okay. Talk to Sir Divish, and now we talk to Sir Robard. Sir Robard! Fire the tribute! I'm glad to see you. What do you think of Master Kaiser? What do you think of Master Kaiser? He definitely knows what he's doing. And all that wild talk of his. Rockets and such like. I'd almost let him try it out, but on some other castle. Do you think there's any truth in it? I've never seen such weapons used, so I can't really judge. But if his ideas worked, they'd change the way we make war. He showed me some of the drawings he has. I don't know if he's a genius or a madman. I guess that was the perspective of everyone back then. He almost caught us again. There was precious little in it, and we could have lost everything. That's how it goes in war. But God stood by us. And in the end, they're nothing but a bunch of filthy cutthroats. They're sneak thieves and assassins. But does that make them real soldiers? Well, they're apt to wait till a man nips off into the bushes to relieve himself, lifts up his chainmail tunic and stab him in the back. Personally, I'd rather face a proper soldier. Because you know just who you're up against. That's probably why Toth is giving us such a hard time. Do you need any help with anything? Is something the matter? A few of them have taken to their heels. If they stop in Kutenberg, I'll be glad enough. But I fear they may have other plans. If those were the best of Ishvan's men, they could be lurking in the woods. They'll probably wait to attack us at the worst possible moment. <laughs> My fear, exactly. I won't breathe easy until... until Toth is hanging from the gate. But in the meantime, I'll be glad to know the woods at my back are clear. Can I count on you? Of course, Sir Robert. Would you like me to bring back their gear as evidence they're dead? That's not necessary. I trust you, Hal. You don't even have to do the killing. Just let me know where you find them and that'll be that. There's no need for you to get hurt in the process. Okay. Hand over the trophies. We got loads of human ears last episode. I have some trophies. Show me. So many. My lad, you're like the smiting right hand of God. Only 315 groschen, that's not great. So apparently we've got a quest now to search the forest to the back. See if there's any enemies, but I mean, you know, we'll focus on the town bug. Oh, we just said load the trebuchet. Boys are running up. Things are gonna happen. Oh, where do I stand? How are you, Henry? Oh, I'm well, I'm well. It's loading the trebuchet, man. Look at this! It's firing it in the rain like a boss. Oh yeah. I expected it to be a little bit quicker, I'm not gonna lie. 
Don't know if I could keep up this commentary for the next 10 minutes while they load it. I wonder if you talk to them while they're doing it. Oh, <laughs> just interrupt. Sorry. Good health to you. Good health to you too, bro. <laughs> just carry on. Hey, I feel quite hungry. I, I felt quite hungry. I'm about to fire a bloody trebuchet. I feel, I feel quite hungry. I'm excited for this. This is awesome. Oh, look. The little sack thing comes down here. That's how we load it. This is really cool, like how it works. Starting to appreciate the geniusness of it. Go and get a boulder. Go on. Go on. Get me a big one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you can summon boulders out of thin air, go for it. Oh, okay. We're rolling up the ramp. Right. I don't know how that one got there, but thank you, man. Okay, man. You need some help there. I'll, I'll get in behind you, man. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We got this, we got this. Hey! Come on. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Woo! Look where you're going! No, 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 I was helping you, man. It's fine. You see, that was so much faster, right? Hey! Right, it's such... I don't even know if I'm going to be able to see the castle when this lands. Could do with a bite to eat. Okay, so I can launch the tribute share. You ready, guys? This is the launching lever, I think. Or do I pull this? I don't really know. I think it's this thing. You like pull it out and then it just goes. You ready? Henry, Woo! Oh my god, there it goes! Did I hit something? Weren't you impressed? You didn't even watch, man. That was awesome. I honestly don't know where it went. I kind of lost track of it in the sky in the storm. Oh, did I get a fire again? We loaded it. Nah, nah, we need to go in. Yeah, yeah, come on. Get some rocks in there. I'll help you out again. I'm gonna push it. Hey! Come on! Let's go! Yeah! Yeah! Are you serious? Yeah, let's do hey. this. Come on. Oh, yeah, that's it. Go on, son. Go on. Get it in there. Yeah. Alright, come on. Let's fire the tribuchet again. My turn, my turn. Oh, okay. You're gonna fire it. Alright, alright. Let's have a look where it lands. Come on, guys. Oh, there it is, there it is, I see it. It's so rapid, I don't even know where it went. Hit the courtyard or something. Alright guys, what I'm going to do is go to sleep and wait until this storm passes. Because right now, I mean, to be honest, it's not ideal just sitting out in the storm. Right guys, so I actually waited until daytime so we can actually properly see when the trebuchet is launched and what's going on in this next section of the battle. So let's talk to Sir Rabard. What now? Divish said, Sir Divish. Oh, okay. It's all the same, isn't it? Really? Come on. It's all the same, isn't it? No, it is not. <laughs> <clears throat> Sir Divish said, you tell me what happens next. I? We're going to watch Istran shitting himself. That's all? For a few days, at least. So if you have anything to attend to, now's the time. Just don't forget to come back. Okay, he's giving me 1,335 groschen. Well, I'm ready now, to be honest, mate. Oh, two-day bombardment. I've got to wait another two days. Okay, great. I'd love to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. I'm starting to get hungry. Right, I have waited two days for the siege to finally happen. We've been bombarding the castle for just days, weeks, centuries. Let's finally talk to Captain Rabard and get this battle on the road. I'm here. I'm here. Can't you see we're still bombarding? You came too soon. Oh, that, that, that. It must be like one hour. I, re I reckon I was like a minute early and he was like, we're still bombarding. What are you doing here? Are you crazy, man? I'm not finished bombarding this castle. I think he's just been having so much fun with this tribuchet that he wants to keep going. Ah, oh, there we go. Sir Robard is expecting me. I suppose we'll have to attack. Since Sir Divish's colours still aren't flying over Tarnburg, I suppose we'll be attacking. Just so. That Istran's a stubborn bastard. All right. When do we start? There's no reason to wait. Are you really ready? If you need to rest or anything, we can still wait. You won't have another chance until we've won the day. Or until your final rest. <laughs> Go to sleep now or die. I'm ready. I have to... Yeah, I'm ready. Let's I'm do ready. it. I'm ready. I'm waiting. Glad to hear it. 
We're going to attack on two fronts, the north gate and the west wall, which will scale with ladders. Ah. The attack will be split into different stages, taking the outer walls, the inner bailey, and finally the core of the castle and the tower. Sorry. We built a trebuchet. We built a trebuchet. We've been bombarding the castle for two days. And now we're like, yeah, we're going to just scale the wall with ladders. Okay, okay, conquering the gate. How are we going to attack the gate? We'll try to do as much damage as we can with the trebuchet first. Kieser claims he can even hit it directly. Even if that's true, we'll have to charge through a downpour of enemy arrows all the way to the portcullis. Portcullis? Yes, Fortunately, Henry. it's wooden, so we'll be able to break it down. But dealing with the defense in the bailey won't be easy. Henry, I'm Attack on the western wall? And what's the plan for attacking the west wall? First, we have to get men to the wall with ladders. Which is no easy matter under fire, so we'll need as many men covering them as possible. As soon as the ladders are in place, our foot soldiers will run up and try to scale the wall. Once a few of them get to the battlements, we should quickly gain the upper hand. How do we take the battlements? How will we take the battlements? Either by scaling the west wall, or our men at the gate will help. If they can break through, that is. Hmm. And the inner bailey? And the inner bailey? That will be tough. Even if we get through the gate and into the outer bailey, we're still a long way from victory. The castle is designed so we'll be like hens in a coop to anyone with a bow on the inner battlements. We'll have to either fight our way through, or somehow get around them. Okay, I see. What about the living quarters? I assume that's where they are. The only place I couldn't enter when I entered at night. What about the living quarters? There, I'm worried most about the hostages. Once we're inside, Istvan will know defeat is inevitable. But we'll still have to fight for each and every room. Okay, I think I know everything I need. I think I've heard everything I need to know. Do you want to join the attack on the walls or on the gate? We get a choice? Remember, many of the Scalitz men will follow you. It could make a big difference. Oh! I'll help with the attack on the walls. Oh, will I? Okay. I'm proud of you, Henry. You've changed from an insolent pup into a tough, reliable fighter. And as God is my witness, we will kick those whore son's arses. A village lad and an old soldier? <laughs> this fan must be shaking in his boots. <laughs> If he's not shaking, then he doesn't know what he's got coming. That was the most... Just one last thing, though. No matter how good the plan is, something always gets fucked up. Keep your eyes open and take advantage of every chance. Help your comrades and don't go rushing in where you're outnumbered. We have to take the castle gradually, one position after another. I'll remember that. I'll rush them. <laughs> good luck to you, stripling. Good luck to you. Old soldier. That was cute. Oh, yes. Here come the boys. Swag. He doesn't look beaten up for the first time in our Let's Play. Oh, man. It's all about to go down. This is the one shot. Oh! Yeah. Oh. What? Oh, we hit the mechanism. That was incredible. What? That actually happened. Nailed it. Now we just got to get all the, uh, through the portcullis, but we're going around the gate, so I guess we don't need to do that. I guarantee something goes wrong in this, this battle. I just want to beat Toth in, like, a duel. That will, like, make my day if I get to do that. Oh, here we go. Yeah, let's do this. Me first, me first. Oh, Captain Bernard's with me. What a boss. Oh, look, we've already got the ladders up there. Let's go, boys. I can see some archers. Get those ladders up. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, <laughs> I can't climb it until they put it up, I guess. I don't see any archers, man. This is easy. Oh, look, there's one, there's one. Come on, show your face. A day. A day. Oh, it just hit the wall next to him. 
I'm gonna go out first, man. The glory of this day will be mine. Ha ha ha. The ascent begins. It is a slow ascent. Hopefully we shall take the castle by midnight. Look at these boys. You chickens wearing those full face helmets. Come on, you petty archers. Fight me. Ha! Oh, God! There's a guy behind me. Oh, Jesus. Go on, get attacked on both sides. Get wrecked, son. Oh, God, no, don't fire that bow. Don't fire the bow. Get wrecked, mate. Kill him, kill him, kill him. For Narnia. Get wrecked. Okay, he's definitely dead now. He is definitely screwed. Okay, they're attacking over there. I'm going to go this way, though. This is clearly the way to go, guys. This is the gate. Oh, we've already broken down the gate. Holy crap. Oh my god, look at all the bodies in here. Do I have a grenade? I need a grenade. Oh my god, there's so many guys. Get wrecked, son. Oh, I swear that went through him. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, have that arrow to the back, mate. I should really get in there with a sword, but this is fun, so screw it. Yeah, what, mate? Fight me. What are you going to do, huh? Get destroyed. How are the Townberg men inside the castle with the bandits like behind them? Oh, I guess they rushed down from the battlements after we stormed the gate. We got down pretty damn quick, didn't we? Just getting my, uh, my archery skill. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Oh, get Rex up. Headshot. Right, I'm gonna get my sword out and just get in here. Ha! Oh god, there's actually a few guys here. Oh my god, oh my god. Back off. There's actually a lot of bandits, man. I should be careful. Oh my god. Hello. All right, calm down, mate. Boom. Oh god, it's like the bandit chieftain is coming at me like a crazy guy. He's dead. Oh, okay, come on then. Ha! Oh god. Luckily, I've got crazy amounts of armor on. So you can get wrecked up. Jesus. There's so many guys here. Oh my god, they're actually like pushing us back. Uh, let me get my boat again. Get wrecked, son. I don't know who's on my team here, but all of these guys look like bandits. Oh, okay. Hello. Yeah, I don't actually have a weapon to kill you with. Ha! Oh, okay. So the guys from the uh, wall must be coming down now to kill them. There's so many. I didn't realize there were so many guys in the castle. I thought I killed most of them already when we had this night hunt mission. Look at all these guys. I don't know why they're looking down there. Oh! I thought he, he uh, got triggered there. I had the stare of a man who wanted me dead. Is there a battle going on down there or what? What are they looking at? Oh, hello. Goodbye. Come on then. Punch him in the face. Oh, Jesus. I should, should probably get my sword out this time. Come on then, fight me, mate. Attack. Huh? What are you going to do? Get wrecked. Oh, 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 Henry. Henry, look out. Oh, God. Come on then, throw your first punch. I don't think so. Nice shield, idiot. Is this guy even dead? He's like rolling around on the ground. Get wrecked, sir. Okay, so there seem, seems to be some people down there a bit stuck. Look at all these bodies. Holy crap. Is there anyone in here? No, we've killed all the guys. We've taken the courtyard. Just going to march upstairs. Is there anyone in here? Hello? Nope. It's Lady Stephanie chilling out. Oh, look, guys. This is the bit that got absolutely destroyed by the siege. There's also a chest here we can lockpick. Don't know what's inside it, though. Look at all these swords. <laughs> Look at all these bodies on the floor. Everyone got wrecked, apparently. Oh my god, there are more men here! Get wrecked, son. Huh? Huh? What are you gonna do? Get back. Get out of my bloody castle, you savage. Yeah! What are you gonna do, mate? Huh? Get wrecked. 
There are actually more people outside. I didn't realize, though. Oh, yeah. That's it, boy. Oh, that was close. Ha! Oh, God. I'm off balance. He's literally tanking everyone. Who is this? Captain Rabard? No, it's Hen... Oh, no, it's not Henry. It's, uh... Sir Hans. Don't worry, Sir Hans. I've got you. Ha! Ah, headshot. Everyone's dead now, I think. There were so many guys to kill there. It was ridiculous. Look at this savage over here. Who's this guy? Who's this? Didn't we save the hostages? <laughs> Is that where they are then? Sir, we should give the order. Let's see if Ishvan Toth can worm his way out of this one. Don't tempt fate, Hamish. Ishvan! It's over! Hello! He's gonna pop his head out the window. You want us to come and get you? I wouldn't advise that. Your friend Divish wants to see his wife alive again. And Sir Radzik? Are both hostages unharmed? For now, Hanush, unless circumstances change. Well, I'm glad to hear it. My guest is also safe and sound, but he's also quite keen to go home. I imagine you feel the same way. It's been a long time since you warmed yourself at your own hearth. I'm in no hurry. I've plenty of supplies here. Grand view in excellent company. What more could I want? Your freedom! Freedom? Freedom to get an arrow in the back? Sir, we're all noblemen here. All bound by honor. I give you my word as a knight and lord, and that of my companions. If you release Lady Stephanie and Sir Radzig, you may leave the castle with your men and go on your way unharmed. Just thinking about it. And just how far will we get? What good will it do me if your men attack us in the woods instead of here? If you give me your word of honor that you will leave and never return, I promise you safe passage to the boundary of this fiefdom. What happens after that is up to you and the will of God Almighty. Hmm. Very well then, but I want a small safeguard. I'll give you her ladyship. Oh. But Radzig comes with me. I'll release him in scarlets. Out of the question! Is our word not good enough for you? Is mine not good enough for you? I swear I'll release him when I get to a safe distance. I'll go with him, Hanush. Let the Lady Stephanie have her freedom now. Father! Don't worry, son. I trust Lord Toth's self-interest more than his word. He wouldn't be fool enough to harm me. If you're certain, Radzig. Prepare horses and supplies and tell your men to pull back. We'll come down. You heard him. Get to work. And any man who breaks his truce answers to me. So are you really going to let them go? My word is my bond, Henry. He's a cutthroat and a liar. Good men are dead because of him. What's to stop us from skewering him as soon as he sets foot outside? Our honor! If you let him go, he'll do the same again. Or worse, God's justice will find him. And then, he'll get a taste of my mace. If we break our word of honor, we have none. And without honor, we are nothing. I'd rather Never be nothing. Fear. Your father will be all right. We'll hunt down those vermin yet. Really? I'm pissed. What? We're going to kill him though, right? And we chase him to the end of the fiefdom and then kill him. Technically then, Bring the horses. we would be fine. Giving them horses and jeez. Here she is, as I promised. Not a hair on her head armed. Divish. <laughs> Stephanie. Forgive me, husband. At Henry. I'm sorry. For what? For letting them into the castle. Oh, come now, my dear. You're not to blame. 
I didn't know who he was. He said he was your friend. Never mind. Did he hurt you? No. That ass though, Henry. <laughs> I hope your word can be trusted. Certainly more than yours. If everything goes as agreed, I'll set Radzig free in Scalitz. If anyone tries to follow us, I'll kill him. We won't. My apologies for keeping you from your father, but you'll see each other soon enough. This bastard. Oh, I almost forgot. Your sword. I expect you'll want it back after all the trouble you went to. Actually, you know what? I think I'll keep it as a memento. This isn't over. I'll find you. Really? I look forward to it. Really? Are you kidding me? I just wanted that bloody so Quick! To the battlements! We have to see which way they go! Damn it, oh, they really are heading for Scalitz! Mount up, Henry! You've heard what he'll do if we follow them. We're not going to follow them. We just have to collect your father. Or do you want him to walk back here when they release him? No way, man. We did all of that and Siege Townberg and built a fucking trebuchet and then, like, oh god, am I gonna be able to keep up, Sir Hans? Oh, man. I thought, like. What do you think? Will Toth keep his word? I fucking well hope so. He's a noble, right? Yes. So am I. Sir Radzik will be there. We better get a move on, Hans. Otherwise, they're going to be dead. What will you do now? Not long ago, I only made plans three days ahead at most. Maybe I really could do something for Rate and its people. Something really big. But there'll be plenty of time for that later. I guess Sir Hand is going to be a pivotal role in the future. Especially when he comes of age and retires. The way you found Tom. Sneaking into Brannick all on your own. Well, God. what I mean is, hats off to you, Hal. You wouldn't catch me doing that. Truth is, I didn't think much about it. I just felt I had to do it. Man. I really want to kill Tom. This is quite a turnaround, isn't it? What do you mean? How long have we known each other? A few weeks? Something like that. Before that, I was chasing wenches around Rate and you were digging turnips. And now look at us. A pair of veterans. Uh, I was an apprentice blacksmith. Not a turnip digger. <laughs> <laughs> Same difference, you silly bugger. You want a wanker? He's still a dick as me hands. Man, I'm looking forward to exploring the rest what of this game. What should I say to him? Don't worry, it'll come to you. You'll see. Well, I just hope he'll be there. Alive. If he's not alive, that would just be like the worst thing ever. I think I'd just like uninstall. <laughs> no, it would be that bad. But like, no, he, he'll have to be alive. That would just be terrible if he wasn't. Okay, I guess it's just skipped us to Scalitz. There's no sign of them. Move on. We're not at Scalas yet, we're at Rothner, are we? Epic yeah. music. I'm glad to see Ishban kept his word, sir. Not half as glad as I am, Your Grace. Well, we kept our word too. And now Toth has had his head start and he's fair game. Which way do they go? To the north, but I will be careful, Sir Hans. Fear not, Your Grace. I have twice as many men as he. <laughs> well, I won't keep you any longer. I'm sure the two of you have a lot to say to each other. Henry's face. Let's go! 
Are we not going to join them? Are you alright, Father? I am. They treated me quite decently. Although they did steal my horse, so I'll have to go back on foot. <laughs> Damn it. That's all you have to say to me. I just saved your life. Nice castle, bro. <laughs> it looks like it's all over. Not by a long shot. It won't be over until we get this mess cleared up. And catch that bastard. How could we let him go? Would you rather we killed him? Even if it meant Lady Stephanie and I died too? No, of course not. But what was to stop us from killing him after the exchange? Honor? Honor? If the word of honor of a nobleman could not be trusted, then he would never have agreed to the exchange. And where's the honor in abandoning your son? Hmm. You know how it is. We were young. It happened. And I couldn't marry a commoner. Then your father, I mean Martin, came along and took care of both of you. Well, he knew it. What? That I was your father? Certainly. He was a great man. He took you as his own. And I always kept an eye on you. Of that you can be sure. I know so little about his past. He told you nothing? Oddly enough, even though you don't have his blood, you're very like him. When he was around your age, he became bored of his trade and set out to see the world. He lived through many adventures, even fought in a war. In a war? Yes, in Poland, I believe. And I don't think he cared much for it. That's why he wanted me to stay at home. He spent some time in Prague, then settled in Kuttenberg. But it seems he quarreled with someone there and finally ended up here. You know the rest. I loved him, but even so, uh, I somehow always had a feeling I didn't quite fit in. It was in your blood, I suppose. <laughs> I lost the one thing I had left from him. Your sword. Ah, the sword. It's not my sword. It's yours. For a moment there, it was so near, yet so far. Oh, well, it can't be helped. It was almost within my grasp, but... Just then, I had something else on my mind. Well, I think we may yet have a chance to get it back. This business with Toth is not yet over, unfortunately. That's a chance I'd welcome. Not just to get the sword, but that bastard Istvan, too. And then I'll find that German horse son who torched Scalitz, and I'll slay him with it. I'll never forget his face. Or his name. Mark Wart von Aulitz. Those are noble intentions, son. But don't forget there are other things in this world that are worth living for. Like what? Look around you. Blue skies overhead, green grass underfoot, beautiful girls. Good wine. <laughs> a few good friends and a fine steed under your backside. Those are things worth living for. Oh, I can't deny that swine who killed your mother must pay for what he did. But it's better not to dwell too much on that at the cost of those other things. On the subject of steeds, I think we'll have to ride like the Knights Templar. How's that? Two up. One day I'll tell you how they got their seal. You can take the front. I don't get that reference. <laughs> it's like I always imagined it would be, teaching my boy to ride. Although it would be better if you were a little smaller. <laughs> my word, it's all go today, isn't it? I wonder who this is. I think I know. It's Margrave Jobst. The king's cousin. I wonder what he wants. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Hmm. Oh, is that that's it then? 
I wasn't sure that was going to be the end. Directed by Daniel Barber. I really enjoyed that game. Though... Oh, this is a, a rock band, Czech rock band, I think, at the end. But uh, I don't think I liked the ending. I felt like it was so anticlimactic. Like, there was no boss battle. I guess, you know, we didn't get to, like, avenge anyone. Let me quit out of the, the music in case it's copyrighted. <laughs> Rip. Oh, there's another scene. Henry became a monk. And live happily until the end of his days. You're doing well, son. Father. Come now. You know who sired you. That doesn't matter now. I miss you, Amar. I miss you very much. You'll be fine. We're proud of you. For what? I let you down. I, I lost the sword. I let that bastard get away. Don't be so hard on yourself. There was nothing you could have done to save us. And someone has to live and carry the torch. That's for the sword. It's just a thing. You didn't want me fighting. Now look at me. Standing up to evil isn't the same as sowing its seeds. You did what was right. I have to leave you now. Oh, please. You know I can't stay. Will I ever see you again? God knows. An angel. Make her proud. It's nice that they put that scene in. Because I guess that haunted you the whole game, really. Don't go. Oh. No. What on earth were you dreaming about? I couldn't wake you, and it's well past dawn. Sir Radzik wants you at the upper castle. The lords are in council with Yobs. Right. I'll go straight away. <laughs> These trousers, though. Green, blue, and yellow? What is it? It's just... I don't know how to address you anymore. All of a sudden, you're Sir Radzig's son, hobnobbing with lords and ladies. And here's me, as common as muck. That's all you are. <laughs> oh, give over, you idiot. Do I look like a lord to you? Not really. You're as much a lord as I am a nun, and I've never looked good in a habit. Get out of here, you dirty peasant. Or I'll have you clapped in the stocks. Got good banter there. That wall painting. So what now, like? Oh, an oath is an oath. Game saved, quest completed. Go to the upper castle. Oh, we this carries on then, doesn't it? This isn't the end. An oath is an oath. Oh, I'm in my armor. Okay, great. Quest started. Epilogue. Ah, so there's more. There's more. Okay. I will link the epilogue episode in the description below so you can find out the complete ending to the game and how it follows on to the next one. This game is actually designed to be made 
in I think at least three acts, if not maybe four. I don't really know what their concrete plans are, but I know that it's meant to be a series of games. The only annoying thing is for me, I think, and all the other players, is obviously we don't find and kill Toph. And though that may be historically accurate, it's kind of frustrating because the game is so good. The story really had me amazingly compelled at the start. And I just wanted to, you know, it to fulfill it in the end where there was like an epic, well, we had the epic battle. It was just like that main story with the sword and our father. Though it tries to explain away that, you kind of lose out that pivotal sort of ending finale point where you finally get to kill this guy or at least get your sword back or have some kind of epic end to it. I don't feel like it had that. It makes me all the more interested to play the epilogue next and find out what happens. To be honest, I think it's just going to set up the next game and explain the backstory and the politics and what's going on next, but we'll see. And then I'll give you guys my full thoughts on the game and what I think about it. But thank you so much, guys, for those of you who have been supporting me on this Let's Play. It's been amazing to play, amazing to read your comments below, and, you know, all the viewership and everything is absolutely awesome. So I appreciate all your support, especially those guys who have been supporting me on Patreon financially. I really appreciate that, man. It means the world to me. So thank you so much to all of you, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a fantastic day, and goodbye.